today's video. Today's video is all about timelines and perspectives. Another word for perspectives is point of view. And more specifically, we're going to look at the different scales you can use for timelines. Uh, but to help you understand a little bit about what we're talking about, I got something for you to do before you even start. Uh, here's what I want you to do. You're going to pause the video and you're going to jot down three timelines. At the first timeline, uh, you're going to write down everything that has happened today, at least 10 events. Um, and I want you to space it out about one inch equals one hour. So actually, you'll only be doing about the last 10 to 12 hours, depending on how big your paper is. Then in the second timeline, I want you to write down what has happened in the last week. So each inch is going to equal one day. And in the final timeline, you're going to write down what has happened over your entire life. You know, what's happened throughout your whole life. So each inch, again, is going to equal about one year this time. And that's going to um, be, again, at least 10 events on each of those timelines. And then uh, go ahead and pause the video right now and just do that real quick. Excellent. Now that you've done that, uh, let's take a look at what we're talking about today. I want you to start by looking at this picture. What are the details you can see in this picture? Well, some of the things you might have said were the fact that you could see the veins in the leaf. You could see all the individual veins and the different patterns that they make. Uh, you might have said that the uh, leaf has jagged edges. Right? That's something you could see. Uh, you might have noticed the color of each individual um, stem. Uh, but you don't know necessarily, is this a tree? Is this um, a shrub? Um, is this a flower up here? Um, you don't exactly know what this is up here. So um, this is the first picture. And you could probably say right that this is a, a close-up. Right, this is a close-up of um, whatever this plant is that we are looking at. And I know some of you are thinking, well, this is social studies, not science. Why is he doing this? Um, bear with me. Uh, let's take a look at another picture of the same plant. Um, and now, what can you see in this picture that you couldn't see in the other pictures? You may have said, well, now that I know... I know this is a flower right here. Um, I know it's shaped kind of like a bell. Um, you may have also said, hey, I can see more than one flower. You know, they're obviously in these clusters. Um, you can still see the leaves, um, but you may not have noticed the jagged edges if this was just the one thing or the, the one picture that you had. Uh, you can also say, see that this long stalk here has lots of different pictures or lots of different flowers so you can see different things in this picture but you lose some things as well uh, let's look at one more picture again I know this isn't science this is social studies but bear with me one more time we've got one more picture here this is of course the same plant um, in this picture now you can see that the plant is in fact a shrub or um, yeah, a shrub. Uh, you can see that um, there are multiple stalks of pink flowers coming off of this thing. Uh, you see that there are green leaves, but you've got no idea what the leaf. I mean, you can. It, it's a struggle to see what shape the leaves are. You're definitely not going to see any of the veins in the leaves. Um, you can see plants that are neighboring this plant. Um, you got some lavender here, um, flocks over here. Um, you can see maybe some animals that hide in them um, but you get a, a, a much more overall view of, of what this plant uh, is um, so what picture is best if you're trying to learn about this plant well um, the answer is going to be it depends on what you're looking for so it all depends on um, your perspective right or your point of view you're going to learn different things uh, by looking at each of these different pictures right perspective 
uh, point of view. Here you've got a close-up view. Um, here you've got kind of a medium view. And here you've got the whole view, the view of the whole plant. So again, it just depends on what you're looking for. History is a lot like that. And we've been talking about timelines, and there are different perspectives of timelines. Let's take a look. Let's start with this timeline here. This is a timeline um, of ancient civilizations. Uh, you can see that down here with the title, Ancient Civilizations. Um, so let's take a look at what you can see in this timeline. So as it zooms forward, we've got uh, Egypt here. You've got Sumer here, the Minoans, uh, people we're going to spend some time learning about. Um, and as we zoom forward, um, you'll see that we've got uh, different groups. Israel, again, uh, we've got the, the Byzantine Empire there. We've got uh, Teotihuacan here, the Toltec, Chimu, um, D. So a huge, long time frame here. Uh, you don't know, you can't learn much about the people from Teotihuacan. You just know that they're kind of here between somewhere after 200 uh, through somewhere around 650 AD. And that's all you learn about them here. Let's take a look at a, uh, a closer up view. Um, here we've got a much uh, more condensed time frame, about eh, 400 years or so. Uh, you got 1492 to 1861 um, and different events that happen in this time frame. Uh, so you see here 1607. Again, these are all these years, again, are uh, in AD, which stands again for Anno Domini, right? So 1492 uh, is when Columbus uh, reached North America. You've got the first colony of Jamestown in 1607. Uh, Maryland Toleration Act 1734 so you know these are happening in uh, the United States or what would become the United States um, and you're getting a, a closer look at each of these you've got the Tea Act the Boston Tea Party the Declaration of Independence and, and you get a much more uh, complete view but you're not learning about any of these individual events. So, for example, if I just said the Boston Tea Party and you didn't know what the Boston Tea Party was, you're not getting a lot of information on the Boston Tea Party. Let's take one. Uh, let's look at one more timeline. Um, and this timeline is about the attack. This timeline is about the attack on Pearl Harbor. You know, and uh, if you look at this the timeline is a matter of hours it starts around midnight and goes to about nine o'clock a.m. so we're talking about around nine hours or so um, and you can see here we've got on late December 6th the US intercepts Japanese message instructing its Washington ambassadors to terminate discussions with the US um, then you've got here at six o'clock the Japanese launched the first uh, groups of warplanes from aircraft carriers. So you're getting a much more complete view of this one event. You don't know what happened before this event. You don't know why the Japanese are attacking. So you can see you've seen three different scales here, three very different scales um, with uh, timelines. Uh, let, let's talk about each one. So you've got a panoramic scale. Uh, this is a very wide perspective, and it's a long-term. It helps you find long-term patterns in history. So when we looked at this timeline, for example, it showed us patterns of different civilizations around the world that started uh, in a wide range. Right, we, we're talking thousands of years on this timeline. Uh, then we've got a landscape scale. This is a wide span of time, but it's more focused than the panoramic scale. Um, so it's going to be a smaller time frame, but still pretty wide if you take a look at it. So if you look at this one, this was our panoramic scale, uh, 400 years of history, uh, focused on the United States, uh, but again, still pretty broad. You're not learning about individual events. 
And finally, we've got our close-up scale, which is where you explore relatively small area or small time frames of history. Helps us learn about about individual events. So, for example, the attack on Pearl Harbor. We're talking a matter of hours now. Uh, there are different perspectives, just like when we were looking at that plant. You can look at history in, in different perspectives. You can take a look at all of history, a huge wide view of history. Uh, and that would be our panoramic scales where you've got thousands of years on a timeline. Uh, you, we've got the landscape scale, uh, which is where it's, it's more condensed. You're talking about a couple hundred years of time and it, it gives you uh, more specific events and then we've got a close-up scale where it's a day a couple of days maybe a year um, maybe an hour uh, where it shows all the events leading up to something so it's a very specific thing and, and you're learning a lot about a certain event were you paying attention answer the following questions and find out Question number one, what three scales did we talk about when using timelines? Question number two, what scale would be most useful in looking at the development of cellular phones? 